I like the fact that it's not um, flat. So for me, the hill is the attraction. I like running hills and I, I even more enjoy running down hills and I love the ending on this race because you've got basically a mile of a descent. So you finish the race at a pace. Yeah. <laughs> and would you agree with that though? Well, I just love it because it's my local race. So I train on this course all the time. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, it's super hard to, I'd say it's really hard to judge the race right because you, yeah. uh, you get to halfway and you feel like you're right on pace and then you go up this massive hill which really knocks you back and then you kind of try and recover a bit and then suddenly you're hurtling downhill for a mile and then the race is very suddenly over. So it does catch people out I think and probably a bit of home advantage helps. For me I'm used to running like that because I do lots of trail running so I'm used to changing gear and I'm used to running on feel so I don't really look at my watch. I just run as fast as I can given the terrain I'm on. And how are you feeling this year? Are we up for two more winners standing here afterwards? Well I was saying to Dave I had a crash off my mountain bike yesterday um, so I'm a bit battered hence the um, cut on my head but you know had a good night's sleep so we'll see. <laughs> yeah I'm in pretty good shape I, sh I should be definitely quicker than I was last year um, but I am aware there's some pretty serious competition around this year so uh, I'd say there's a reasonable chance of the course record might go today. Oh right, okay, so you're not quite the youngest, apparently there's someone 15 who's doing the race. But have you done it before? Okay, so you're looking forward. And have you done it before? Is this your... I haven't done it, I'm here to support daughter. You did the Bristol 10k, didn't you? Oh right, you're an experienced runner, more than your dad anyway. <laughs> What age are you, Samuel? 15. Okay, oh, I think you might be one of the youngest runners. Yeah. So have you done this before? Have you done any running? It's first time for so, both of you? So I, yeah, I did it about five years ago. So okay, a good experience? Yeah, it's good. Because really good, yeah. apparently there's a horrible hill. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Have you told, uh, do you know about it? Have you yeah. been told? Yeah, okay. Told. So, uh, <laughs> so don't go too fast before the hill is my... Uh, is okay, my save some, right, okay. So where do you go for your training runs? Around um, Nebnet Thrubwell. Nice. Down the hill, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, because this hill is a big hills. thing apparently. Have you have you I done, done it before? before. Oh, right, first time. Course, newbie. First time newbie, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. good luck. Thank you very much. Yeah. I think you might need it. <laughs> um, actually, I think I've done most of the um, 10Ks here at the Chew Valley 10K. Um, probably well, not all of them. Possibly all of them. Yeah, I if I'm honest, them, I can't yeah. entirely remember. I'm 61, for goodness sake. <laughs> <you know? laughs> I've always been quite into running, um, always at school. So, um, but yeah, I think I just quite like the atmosphere as well. It's quite nice to, you know, have a whole village event. So, I think that's what quite that's what sort of makes you want to do it, really. Ruby runs typically faster than I do. <laughs> I sort of slope forward a lot, if you know what I mean. I'm a but jogger <laughs> as opposed to a runner. So, but that's uh, fine, that's okay, we'll do it. Yeah. We'll we'll probably, we're going to start off together <laughs> and see how it goes. She'll get, she'll get the bit. Absolutely, uh, I, I and then, I uh, then I'll just wave goodbye. Actually, the, the concept of the event was uh, thought about by my colleagues Anne Booker and Joe Burke. And so Anne was the race director for the first two or three years, and then I was just part of the team and yeah, took it on, I think, three years in. Is this the first year there's been an Arthur David team in the Chew Valley 10K? First year, okay. Arthur David team. Okay, and tell me, why, whose idea was it? Is Mill <laughs> Man. definitely wasn't mine. I've got a feeling, you've got, you've got a guilty look <laughs> about you. <laughs> has nothing to do with the race. So, I hear you've been doing lots of training. Yeah, loads of training, yeah. about two days. <laughs> why do you want to support this event? local event. Yeah. Raising money for charity, yeah. get, get does something done in the community, fantastic, you want to be part of a community Brilliant. feel. But we've got Arthur David Food with Service um, up the road and there's, for the first time ever, they've got a full team of about six people, including the two directors, because they've been supporting us for years with bananas, water, flatbed lorries for our band, um, the Chew Valley School head teachers running today. Um, assistant head is doing, a, he's a car parking marshal. The whole community's involved, which is great. I'm going to ask you some information now. Oh, okay. How long is the race? 10k. Well done. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Runners, to the back of the hall, please. But we also wanted, and it, it still remains the same, just to try and encourage activity in the community amongst all ages. And actually we've got loads of people today that have never run a 10k before. Loads of club runners that run them all the time. 
So it's a re really nice mix and, of ages. And how do you cope with that? Do you stagger at the start? To make sure everybody's comfortable, what we're doing is we have the boards that people hold up with their estimated finish times. We are, so we are the timings. Ah. And then we're going to go, oh, you found me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And then we're going to group off like that. And then they are going to, depending on what, how long people think they're going to take, they'll come to our groups. And then they are going to be staggered. So everyone tells you what their estimated yeah, time so is? Yeah, we'll so we'll stand separately in the uh, okay. and then we'll get groups together and uh, then they'll okay. stagger them off. And then they all run at the same kind of pace, yeah. that's the idea. Good morning, it's right. runners. It's Matthew Cunio here. Oh. We believe the man with his hand up could be the only one who has done each and every of the tent. Now, if anyone wants to argue with that, then they can also put their hand up. There'll be a special prize for you, Matthew, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've run every one so far. I used to live in the village, so I used to walk along. Um, but we moved to Wales a couple of years ago, but I just kept coming back because I love the route. Um, really friendly people running the race. Um, the cake afterwards is fantastic. Oh, I didn't know about the cake afterwards. Oh, yeah, oh. definitely. <laughs> Want to try the cake? No, it's, it's brilliant atmosphere, and it's lovely to go to a race where you know so many people. Yeah. So what's your favourite thing about this race? Running back down from Hinton Blewett. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And the atmosphere, it's great. Yeah, There's lovely. so much support. Yeah. So in a second, we're going to group you. The actual course is beautiful, um, the hill is beautiful and you know there's the trees hanging over. In hot weather it's shaded but in rainy weather you don't get wet because it's covered. But it's challenging that hill and it's only, it's not even a couple of kilometres but it's just steep. So some people walk up it and that's fine and others are determined to run, run up it which is great. Can I ask is this a special top that you're wearing? Well, sort of, yes. I mean, sexual abuse and rape victims. I see. All right. Yeah, okay. So. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Oh, well done. Thank you. Well done. I have to see the rest when they run around. No, no better. Oh, it's a team, is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brilliant. You're the main sponsors of the Chew Valley we 10K. Are, we... Tell me, what does that mean? What do you enjoy about supporting it and what do you do? Well, we've done it every year, haven't we, for like year, seven, yeah, seven years, years or so. Um, <clears throat> but it's just great to get the community involved in something like this. And it's nice because we're local. It's something, you know, that we like to do. It's, um, it's great fun. And is anyone from Debbie Fortune taking part in the race? We, I, I well. was supposed to be taking part. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I've got a cough and a cold, so I didn't bother. But next year, we're next year, I definitely, next definitely year. will. Well, hold that yeah. to Yeah, fine. Okay, definitely. well, good luck, guys, and thanks Thank for everything you, you do. Brilliant. Thanks Thank for you. that. The course record hasn't been beaten since 2014, and that's 33.05. That's pretty fast. Well, Dave yeah. reckoned it might be beaten today. I hope so. I really <laughs> hope so for our 10th anniversary. That would be great, wouldn't no, it? Just while we're waiting, we just want to say a big, huge thank you to you all again for coming here today for our 10th anniversary. <laughs> we hope you have a great one. Thank you. <laughs> record. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, well done, Dave.
Would you like to say a word about your very clever husband? He's very fast, isn't he? <laughs> Oh, sprint finish! Our first woman, it's Victoria! So you're in pain? Yeah, oh really? I think you were in the heat. Okay. But the hill, the hill was all right. Uh, Francesca got me on the hill. But I uh, ran off it quicker. You, you made up a lot of time. She's beat me before in two k's. So, lucky she's going to beat you today. Get some water. Victoria was saying you caught her. Oh, going up. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So was it harder than you imagined? Yeah. Hot. Is it a heat? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But are you are you pleased with your own time? Yeah. yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank well. you. Well done. Well done. How do you feel? I got a snitch in the room. Oh, right. Anyway, you've made it. You're the, you're the youngest fastest one, I think. I think you've won your group, I think. Well done. Ah, those are us. A couple of kilometres. Were there, were there any fossil fuels used in this run? No fossil fuels and beautiful trees were feeding us with pure oxygen the whole way, keeping everyone happy and alive. <laughs> Two very fast trees running it for it. Hey! Uh, oh yeah, tell me, tell me what was bad, what was hard? The downhill. That last bit, I'm not used to running downhills. I ride a bike. Yeah. I ride a bike yeah, so yeah. I pedal up yeah, yeah. and then I relax on the downs. And now it's coming down, it was hurt my legs. Yeah. But thankfully it's the last few kilometres. Oh, how'd you how'd it go? Oh, about three minutes faster than usual. Well done, well done. Because it was hot, everyone was saying it was hot. Well done, well done. That hill is a killer. That's what everyone says. Yeah, yeah, plus the heat today. So have you done many of these races? I've had, but I've never done the two rally. Okay. Yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. Tell me what's good about it. It's just the atmosphere. People are cheering you on. Are you, are you friends or did you just meet on the race? We're friends. You're friends? Yeah. Are you together all the way around? Yeah. So you help each other? Hello. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Hello. 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 The supporters are amazing. The supporters are amazing. Thank you. Am I allowed to ask your age? I'll be 77 on Tuesday. Congratulations. Have you done lots of these? Oh, this is the second one I've done this one. Well done. Yeah. So you haven't been running all your life? No, I started around 63. Wow. Yeah. And then I've done what, 21 rounds? You look yeah. Yeah. Well yeah, done. You, you look brilliant. That hard. Oh, what, what was the worst bit? I hear every time. Yeah. Yeah, you've done this. You've done this before. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of times. Yeah. So you know it's coming. 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolute killer. It doesn't get any easier as you get older, does it? <laughs> Brilliant. So, how pleased are you with the day? Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. Really good. Did it under an hour, so that's great. Everyone saying it's really hot. Yeah, it's quite yeah. warm. Yeah, yeah. And what about the hill, Sam? It was quite difficult, but I managed to run loose. Well done. Oh, great. You're going to have a nice Sunday lunch now. Maybe. <laughs> oh, Barbie later. Lovely. Well done. Thanks. Cheers.